Hi there, a very warm welcome to Hackathon. Here I will show you how to create a bootable USB flash drive to install Windows or a Linux machine. Guys, if you are a Windows user or a Linux user, here I will show you two ways, specifically one for Windows and one for Linux. So you can directly go to the given timestamp for a specific way. So guys, without wasting much time, let's get started. So guys for windows here I will show you the best tool that is win32 disk image you can download it from the link given in the description win with the help of win32 disk image you can create a ISO for any type of operating system whether it's a Kali, Ubuntu, Windows 8, 9, 10 and all uh, sorry 9 is not a windows so guys let's see how to use it so guys after downloading you will get a zip file of win32 disk image you can you have to uh, extract it so for extracting double click on it and here click extract all yeah, I'm just extracting on desktop and guys as your file will extract then what you have to do is you just have to uh, insert a uh, insert a pen drive in your in your system and guys the pen drive should be minimum of 8 GB because all the operating system requires minimum 8 GB pen drive and uh, after, and guys this pen drive should be formatted you can format it yeah, I will show you it's my pen drive it's uh, 8 GB pen drive and now what you have to do is uh, on the here I have extracted the pen drive image here right click on it and run as administrator so guys as you open the pen drive to image then here uh, you have to locate it to the ISO of the uh, ISO of the uh, operating system to whom you want to you want to create a bootable pen drive so here I will click on this folder sign here you have to locate it here in my E drive I am having the ISO of many systems so you can see here I am not getting anything because um, rather in this folder all the ISOs are there so here what you have to do is here you have to select asterisk it means all type of uh, files it can see it can show so guys now here I am selecting Ubuntu Kali Linux you can select windows or anything it will work for all so now click on open now what you have to do is just to click right here it is showing a warning that all your data can all your data will uh, erase so click yes and be sure guys in the in the progress of uh, this writing please do not unplug the pen drive because if you will unplug the pen drive your pen drive will get corrupted and all the partition tables will get messed up and you will not able to get your pen drive use this pen drive again so guys it will take a time about uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes it depends on your processor speed and your usb 2.0 or usb 3.0 so guys now you can see our uh, our writing has been done it's 99 percent and guys i have paused the video and you can see now write successful um, prompt is open so you have to click ok now what you have to do is you just have to plug the pen drive in your computer and in the bios mode you have to select live uh, boot from usb as you can see on this screen here and you will get a Kali Linux booting option so guys uh, here the problem arises after you install the window or after you install the operating system that you want then the problem that you will get is here yeah, I am showing you uh, as you will open the pen drive again then you can see uh, there will be a fat 32 partition and nothing will open then uh, after you uh, and after you format it then you will get a uh, you will get a size of 2 to 3 GB. I will show you uh, I will show you as I am formatting it again because I have uh, so I will click on click format. You can see what will happen. So now I have formatted. Now you can see my pen drive before my pen drive was a 7.64 GB. Now it is a 2.64 GB. Uh, it, it means your the partition of your pen drive has got shrink. Uh, this is done because of uh, because of being 32 disk image. So if you want to fix it, you can see my uh, you can see my tutorial how to fix the pen drive shrink partition. So guys, that's it for this. Uh, if you like, please don't forget to uh, like, subscribe. Now let's see for Linux users. So guys, if you have searched out, uh, there are a lot of applications available in Linux to create a uh, bootable USB flash drive from an ISO. 
but we can make it easily using a dd command without any headache. dd stands for data duplicator which is used to convert and copy a file block by block from one device to another device. So guys, here I am using a Kali Linux and all the commands are same for all Linux flavors whether it is a Ubuntu, Debian, Kali, Red Hat or any other Linux Mint and all. So guys, let's plug your pen drive and open your terminal. So yeah, I am plugging my pen drive for which uh, and guys uh, the minimum size of partition pen drive should be 8 gb because all the isos require minimum 8 gb of space so yeah, I, have, I have plugged the 8 gb pen drive and after that you have to open your terminal here yeah, i have opened my terminal after opening the terminal you have to type the command app disk hyphen l f d i s k disk hyphen l and guys this app disk hyphen l will show you the path of the uh, pen drive that you have plugged it this is the path of the pen drive dev uh, sdb1 it will be used in uh, the command that we will use for uh, creating a bootable pen drive then what you have to do, find it and you have to find the path of the ios of ios image that you want to create a bootable so here i am use go to the path where my ios image is so i will use this kali linux 2.0 ios so i will check its path so you can check it path by going its properties and directly select this is the path whole path of my iso so i will copy it now here what you have to do, do is here you have to type command dd then if after that equal to here you have to paste the path of your iso whole iso here i am not getting the name of the image so i will copy paste it from here So after um, so after defining the path of your input file that means the ISO here if it stands for input file and after that you have to type the output file name means you have to uh, define the path of your uh, pen drive and so now you have to type off equal to here you have to copy this path you can copy it with the help of control shift c and control shift v so now after that after defining the output file path then you have to define the block size a block size means uh, when you will perform the read write operation then how much size of a block you can copy and guys uh, as minimum you can use uh, as maximum you can use 1 mb but here we will use we, with the help of little hack we will add the sync here, uh, at the end with the help of which you can use up to 4 mb it means at a time 4 mb block will get copied in your pen drive so it will take less time to create a bootable pen drive so i will type 4 amp and after that you have uh, you have to type and as we say with the help of little hack with the help of this little hack we are able to and guys this and means we are syncing here and the end will get two commands at a time with the help of this we can get two commands uh, use two commands at a time so now after that we have to press enter and guys the v, this is the weak point of this command means this command doesn't show the uh, progress or what is the progress of your pen drive that it is copying or not and guys if you unplug your pen drive then your partition will get flushed out will get messed out if you don't know how to uh, get it again how to unshake it again because your partition will get shrink out then you can see my previous tutorial how to get this uh, how to fix the partition shrinking and if you have to wait for around 10 to 15 minutes because it will take time for copying your uh, copying your iso files image into your pen drive and after that what you can do is you can just plug it and you can select it from bios i will show you after getting a booty pen drive so guys now after 10 to 15 minutes you will get this type of uh, screen it will show that you have co i have copied all the data in my pen drive in in this in these seconds it's thing around 6 to 6 to 7 minutes and with the help of uh, with 4.8 mbps speed guys this is speed increases because of this 4 m and sync so guys now your bootable pen drive has been created successfully now you have to restart your laptop and you have to plug your pen drive and select from bios like this as i am doing and uh, after that you will see this type of kali linux screen so that's it your pen drive has been successfully get uh, you will get bootable so thanks for watching if you like my tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe and comment bye bye have a nice day